So Alicia was just buffed in this recent balance patch. It's not a crazy buff. She just has a higher activation rate. It was 15% chance to freeze with skill 3. Now it's 25% chance to freeze. This is just a little insurance policy, to be honest, because you really want her to kill primarily with skill 3. If she doesn't kill, at least she freezes. And now, since a couple patches ago, actually, uh, now... If she freezes something, she gets an additional turn after the attack. She is one of the best arena, one of the best and most underrated arena offense units in the entire game, in my opinion. I absolutely adore using her with Shengpeng, Tiana, Galleon. We're going to do some inter-serve arena today, and we're going to use the Alicia team. So apparently I bit off more than I could chew when I said we were going to do her in inter-serve arena, and all the teams are like, I can't take Alicia into that. Usually we use her all time, but for whatever reason, this week, there's not a whole... This is alicia -able. Uh, but usually, there's a lot more stuff that we can Alicia than now. Everyone's using uh, the fast, super fast teams. I mean, they're usually using super fast teams, but there's usually at least, I don't know, like 15. Oh, come on! We're not going to do anything now. Okay. Uh, let's see if we freeze things. This is what we want to see. So we froze, a we froze everyone. Wow. That's a huge buff. I wasn't expecting to freeze everyone. It's multi-hits. It's 25% chance for each attack. But I wasn't expecting to hit everyone. That's pretty... That's pretty significant. We'll hit this one. This is a bruiser defense. However, this already has an Alicia counter with the Xing Zhe in here. Riley can also potentially be an Alicia counter. But we have the Sheng Peng, so it should be fine. Then two units that potentially we can... I would love to see if we could freeze some of these Xing Zhe's, though. Because Xing Zhe is a, is a direct counter to Alicia because... She will do her skill 3, then he will come in and he will potentially stun her, like a counterattack stun. And then, or maybe we just stun him here. Do we stun him here? We don't stun him here, okay. But, can we actually freeze him? We don't get the freeze, we do get the kills. But, he's probably going to... He tried, he tried, but he failed. I don't like taking it into something like this. If you have a double cocky team, this would be, uh, double cocky would be great against this. Not necessarily Alicia. If they're super fast, especially like the Paladin could cut in and do some crazy stuff. We'll see. Uh, it, we're probably going to be fine doing this. I, I honestly, I feel like this is a kind of weird uh, defense for anything, but. Decrease attack age. We'll do some. We want to see the stuns. That's what we really want to see. We got, I don't think we really got any. <laughs> oh, sorry, freezes. I don't think we got any freezes there. This is another one. I don't particularly find that this is a super strong defense, especially for Interserve Arena where you could just, I mean, you wouldn't bruiser this anyway, but especially for Interserve Arena where you could bruiser something. Anyway, let's see how much, I, I, we really just want to see how much Alicia actually freezes with her skill three. <gasps> This is fine, though. This is fine. See that monkey! If she froze the monkey. She needs a specific thing in her passive that says, also freezes monkey with a 300% chance. That's what I... She did freeze a couple things, though. That's pretty nice. So for this one, we're going to use Triton instead of Tiana. It's less reliable, but they have the Tian Lang there on defense. And if we use Tiana... Tian Lang is a counter to Tiana. And they also placed a Molly here on the defense because you have to use something. Like, well, you don't have to use something like Triton. But if you use something like Triton or Chi Wu to AoE strip and decrease opponent's attack age instead of increasing your own, then it could glance with the Molly passive. Also, another thing that I noticed is Chi Wu's buff actually nerfs him against Tian Lang. Because you could take Chi Wu into this before, but now Chi Wu's not as strong into this. As he used to be. So, uh, food for... I'm hitting myself in the face. Food for thought on that one. You could also take Tableau in here. You could also take the LD Homunculus into this, uh, into these Tian Lang defense. So you, so you don't have to actually use what we're using here. You don't have to even strip them. But that is, uh, that is what we're going to do. Please actually land this. That would be fantastic. Okay, so we do actually land this. Time to loot. Hopefully we decrease some attack age. And don't glance too much. We got these multi-hits. This is this is what I like about this. Is we got the multi-hits. So some of them maybe activate. Some of them maybe don't activate. Do we freeze over here? We need to either freeze or we need to kill. We did get a freeze. Beautiful. Look at that. That is fantastic. That is wonderful. Next defense, we've got HP lead. We've got the Praha for the heals. We've got two LDs because two LDs. Not necessarily that these are the best units for the job in this specific defense. So, oh my goodness. Well, luckily we have shield and will. 
This is not necessarily a turn two uh, offense team. It's just we happen to have <laughs> the one time I actually put shield and will on things. So we don't have the defense break on the Dark Paladin. That's going to be a little bit of an issue. Unless we freeze. We don't freeze. And we're not going to kill through this. Yeah, her shield is ridiculous. I think we actually lose this one. <laughs> because this unit is crazy. Defense break. There we go. Can we get the glancing hit? Yeah, they, that's what daddy wants. <clears throat> I'll pretend that I'll just we'll just edit that part out. <laughs> we'll just edit the part out. <laughs> Let's take it in some more stuff. We're regular arena right now. We're gonna also try to hit some Abelios because I feel that this is really good against Prahas, Ariels, Abelios, things that you wouldn't want to Lucian because then they're gonna cut it. Like unless you just single Lucian them and can do enough damage with that single Lucian to actually break through or to actually break through to break through it to actually kill them. <laughs> okay, do we get some freezes? This monkey, though, this mo see, this is the the brutal power of the monkey. The brutal power of the monkey. Let's do pirate strike against Juno. This is this is why the monkey's strong against Alicia. To OP monkey. I mean, he's not an OP monkey. He's not. He, he really is not an OP monkey. However, he's just. That's one of the things. Triana as well as another strong unit against uh, against Alicia. Next defense, we have two fire units. She's going to be really strong against that. The Abelio, I'm not too concerned with the Abelio. Either, we, either we're going to kill things or we're going to freeze things and we should get an additional turn regardless, which is nice. Uh, I've seen people use Alicia on Violent Runes. This is one of those units you do not need to use Violent Runes on. He, she's... I, <clears throat> well, now we have an issue. Now we definitely have an issue. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to figure something out. So, can we uh, freeze or can we, we get the kill? Nice. Man, that's... She does a lot of damage. Did I mention she does a lot of damage? Her skill uh, her skill 2 does a lot of damage. Her skill 2 actually does more damage than her skill 3. But, even getting some bad RNG there on the Galleon 100% accuracy. Does, I know he doesn't need 100%, but some, some bad RNG there with Galleon. Here's another one. We don't have to worry about the Abelios at all. Or at least maybe maybe we should worry a little bit about the Abelios. I personally don't worry about the Abelios. Maybe that makes me maybe that makes me reckless. <laughs> Probably. Probably. But she's just gonna she's just gonna get an extra turn. So he's gonna he's gonna cleanse, he's gonna increase his attack age, but that doesn't counter her getting an extra turn. Do we actually get some freezes here? Very nice. Uh, well, also you can just kill a Belio. That's another. That's another reason I don't really worry too much about a Belio. <laughs> if you just kill him, so this is a dangerous one to hit because we have the Triana here who could cut in between the skill three and the skill two. So, this is a situation where Ganymede might actually be stronger than Shengpeng in this instance. Let's do this strip. Let's see if we actually get the cool because we're we're hoping for the cooldown increase with Shung Pung, but we're asking for a lot, really. We're asking for a lot, because it only increases the cooldown time if the target's attack bar is zero. So we have to land quite a bit. We did actually increase the cool time. Very nice. Very nice, Shung Pung. Great showcase. But this Triana usually counters Alicia. Here's another one. We don't have to worry about the Abelio. We do have to worry about the Triana. And again, I should really take the... Ganymede. I don't like it. I, I I don't like using Ganymede. I used to try to use Ganymede in RTA. He is one of the units that I had such a low, low win rate with. Anytime I tried to use it. Because I think what, what the issue was is that I just never brought enough damage in with him. So, additional turn. And big nuke. And there we go. This is another defense Alicia is great in because she's got so many multi-hits. She's I mean she's obviously just gonna blow through the uh the Leica, but she's got so many multi-hits and she's got so many chances to do either kills or freezes that she is very highly uh, likely to get an additional turn at this point, more more so than ever, right? So even after her previous buffs, she had she was extremely likely to get an additional turn. Now she's even now it's even more so. Beautiful. So we have a ragdoll now on defense, which means we need to land these decrease attack gauges with the Shung Pung, otherwise we are in trouble. He has 100% accuracy. Again, not that he needs 100% accuracy, but I always put these, oh, I don't always, but I like to put 100% accuracy on these things just so that I can complain if they don't land it. I'm like, hey, I did my part. There's no higher that the number goes. So we got some, let's see how many freezes we, she's just killing things. It doesn't even matter. She's just killing things. It doesn't, that's, <laughs> that's it. 
another one fairly meta defense i think i think we get the idea of what things you can hit you can hit abelios like crazy with this though that's that's one of the reasons that i really like alicia nowadays i always liked her but you just hit abelios and not worry about them increasing attack age because they're not going to get another turn because you're going to get your guaranteed uh, extra turn do we actually freeze the monkey we don't freeze the <laughs> this is how she doesn't get additional turns monkey gets frozen <sighs> Maybe I should put her on double will. That would that would be a counter to the monkey, right? Because then she's gonna not get uh, she's gonna not get stunned with that. That's an that's an option. If maybe if I had a second Alicia. So that is post patch Alicia. She's always been a fantastic unit in my opinion. She is one of the best arena offense units in the game for quite a while. I know Foxy used to use her all the time as well. He used to really, really enjoy using Alicia. Personally, she was one of my favorite as well. Now she's just even more consistent. She was very consistent always with her. Uh, mine is not that fast because I use her with Xiongpeng who decreases the attack age, so I don't need to speed tune like you would if you were going to use her in some other team, so just keep that in mind. Um, also, the accuracy <laughs> could be much better, so maybe that's what she. I didn't want to take the damage off her though. Like, I don't want to be like, oh, let's put uh, crazy accuracy on her. Like, this is how I would ruin Alicia anyway. I'm not going to just stick a whole bunch of accuracy on her to bring her damage down, and then she's less effective. Because I ultimately I want her to kill first and foremost, and the freeze is just secondary in my opinion. So that is just I'm, I'm not going to stick a whole bunch of accuracy and. And, and not try to kill things. So this is just very reliable considering it's so many multi-hits. And then you get all these chances to freeze. Either you freeze or you kill, and then you get an additional turn. You do this, and this is actually more damage. But anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys are enjoying Alicia. I will see you as always in the next one.